Hi, my gorgeous and beautiful Capricorns. Rose Warrior, your High Priestess here with an activation message. I was called to write some lyrics from a song I heard from a rap artist. And the song is called Flip Flop. And it goes, I was hanging with bitches I thought really loved me. Whole time they was jealous and judging. They be asking why me and not them. Shit. And I be asking the same. So the energy that I'm getting, whoa, my whole body vibrated. Welcome, everyone. Welcome if you're new. Welcome if you're returning. This message here speaks upon really realizing, truly realizing, Capricorn, that at this time, you're stepping into your power. You're King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Emperor, Empress energy. Those are the four energies that I know you are stepping into. So everything is rearranging in your life. Karmic debts are paid. Karmic loops are ending. For some of you, if you're still finding yourself in some sort of loop here, you're going to be freed from that. Spirit has been in the process, en route, 111 on the duration clock. Spirit is en route to unlocking your throat chakra and your heart here through every single day's intuitive nudges. I heard everywhere you walk is symbolic. You are so heavily guided, Capricorn. You may think that you're in a wrong space, in a wrong place, in a wrong vibration. At 133 here, the Ascended Masters are assuring me you are in the exact most perfect position you are meant to be in in order. This unique position here is in order at 144 on the duration clock. Lots of angel numbers. This position is for you to be propelled forward in this unique position that you're in, whether it feels great, whether it feels you're in route like moving water, there's a transition, or whether it feels like something is being restricted or held up here, it is all working in your favor. I have a brand new Oracle deck here. It's called the Light and Dreams deck here. I bought it with your beautiful donations. This morning, I got a bunch of donations from all my readings this past weekend. So I went to buy some channeling rings and some Oracle for you. So we're going to read off that deck. Every time you donate to me, I go and buy some shit for y'all so we can get more downloads from Spirit. Spirit Ancestors of the Highest White Light, guide me and guard me here as I ring in and anchor in this cosmic information and intelligence here. I'm getting Akashic Records energy, so this is going to be a very powerful message. <sighs> Cleanse us with the highest vibrational love and light of the highest white light and the highest golden vibrational energy here, the field that can protect us as we are reading. Sorry about the headphones wiggling a lot. It's kind of hard to, uh, you know, do anything with the wire, but thank you for being patient. Hopefully that doesn't bug you out too much. So we got Kingfisher 2. I'm gonna read you what these oracles mean, and then I'm gonna channel. I'm very new to this deck, so thank you for being patient with me. Alrighty, so we got two more cards for you. That's awesome. So the bottom of the deck energy Capricorns from this brand new deck of mine is called Light and Dreams, but the bottom of the deck energy is Descendants, number two here. Something about your ancient ancestors are here now to guide you. Your ancient ancestors are returning. I heard tribes returning. Soul and passion returning. Soul family returning. So with the descendants here, I'm picking up that you are a descendant from a very specific race that was powerful. This warrior race dealt with the Amazon, the jungle, your race, or let's say spiritual race, right? Not your actual race, but your spiritual race. Your spiritual energetic signature here is, I'm getting Lemuria, I'm getting Atlantis. You are definitely coming back, Capricorn. <laughs> if you know, you know. You're coming back. You're here. You're back. It's time. Spirit says it's time. This is going to resonate with some of you for sure. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't because it's going to be a fucking powerful message. So I'm going to read the number 40 for King Fisher here. Two. So I'm picking up this energy, Capricorn, that you're very mystical and you have... Something with the air element here and your throat chakra unlocking. You're being guided here to use your intellectual prowess here, your way of speaking to 
project your truths into the world because your truths come from spirit. So let's read what this deck has to say here. And then I'm going to channel a bit more for you. It says, embrace peace. For many cultures, the kingfisher is recognized as a symbol of peace. Peace in our minds and peace in the world around us are both conditions that are beneficial to the quality of all of our lives. Peace of mind is a state of psychological composure that allows us to keep ourselves calm and confident during stressful times. Practical actions can help us find inner peace. That's perfect for you because you're a practical person, Capricorn. So there is something about enjoying, I heard, the abundance that is arriving at your doorstep. This is also a message for Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius placements, go check that other Aquarius tarot reading that I dropped today too. I'm in an Aquarius moon as well. So these energies are, they go hand in hand. They really do, trust me. So Capricorn, you are definitely vibing in some sort of energy here, receiving peace, but learning how to reframe what peace really meant and means to you. You could have been a person that spent a lot of time in the forest, a lot of time with nature, and that had transpired for the last two years is what I'm getting, or the last three years. Maybe you weren't a person that dealt with nature or cared to heal at all. And something about 2020, honestly, what happened was there was a very significant, what I'm picking up here, there was a significant astrological placement in the sky where Saturn or Pluto, yeah, Pluto was in Capricorn, I believe, during the years of 2020. There was an, a huge pivotal change for you. And now that this energy is leaving uh, Capricorn and will be entering or soon entering Aquarius here, I believe that Pluto will be in Aquarius, there is an extreme significant change within your cerebral here. And you are learning how to pull in your, into your reality here that was at 707 you're pulling into your reality elements of bliss joy and peace you deserve this we picked up on imagination and the card is imaginarium number 33 the ascended masters here are showing up in 33 for you they're helping you step by step process by process i heard enjoy the process it's what this whole life is about here wow your ancestors here want you to know that you are, with the 33, guided by extremely powerful beings. Not only your light being ancestors here, but powerful archangels. You're guided by fairies. Yeah, I've been picking up on fairy energy in like only in the last week. I don't pick up on fairy energy a lot, but only in the last week. And it's probably why I was guided to this oracle. So you could be very close to earth in a way where fairies come to your door or you have some sort of connection high vibrational connection to fairies you could come from a bloodline where you have that energy in your system this is imaginarium number 33 what i'm seeing here is there are two pink roses so there are two divine feminine energies here coming into alignment mm -hmm. i am seeing that this is a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy, so you could have this in your moon sign, or you definitely could have this in your rising. Your moon represents your emotional state when no one's watching, your inner self here. Not just what you're projecting or choosing to in order to strategically move in this matrix. The moon sign is really who you are at home when no one's literally watching. So you could definitely have a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces moon or rising your rising is the energy of your spirit when it was on the east horizon here being created that's how people see you and how you come off it's almost like your your soul's first glance here so your rising definitely could be in a water sign or you are in this embodiment of understanding how to flow with nature how to flow with the universe here how to follow the Tao is what i heard let's read what number 33 has for you and then we're going to pull out some tarot after this last card yeah, the ancestors definitely wanted you to receive a lot from this deck because I originally intended one card and you got four. <laughs> so your ancestors definitely are like, no, take your time with Capricorn today. So I definitely take some time, Cappy, or Capricorn. I'm trying to steer away from Cappy for some reason. I don't resonate with saying that, although I'm a Capricorn stellium myself and people call me Cappy all the time. I just don't resonate with saying it. So I'm going to say Capricorn, call you by your name. 
Creativity, imagination, stimulation, uniqueness. Imaginarium number 33 says, I hope that this beguiling figure provides an example of the power of imagination. I envisioned her as a powerful, confident, feminine creature, perhaps a warrior or a leader of her people. She is a master of flexibility in uncertain situations and personifies fluid grace as evidenced by her tentacles. Her mysterious smile and intelligent eyes exude unpredictability while the pink roses reflect her, gem her gentle and happy nature. So this definitely sums up the energy of what I was insinuating and I was picking up intuitively. You are definitely stepping into your power, but channeling it from a place of light. You're not channeling this power from a place of your shadows or the darkness anymore because you've integrated. So that's what we're picking up on here, Capricorn. I'm going to write integrated. That's beautiful. You're truly integrating every single shadow and you've been dealing with this energy for a while. You could have been seeing 88 or 888 and that was a number in, yep, at 1111 that was insinuating a change that you were being brought up to to know you had to make at this time and it could have been a small subtle change or a big one for many of you huge change last card before we pull tarot is 34 sea glass hmm. so after 33 we got 34 so we got six and the number seven energy and the number four energy in your reading so your foundations have been created by this equilibrium within the heart within the emotions and the mind here and now you're coming into this fruition of your divinity, of your divine abilities, your psychic abilities, and you're learning how to use them, how to channel, creating new incomes, new avenues for money to flow in because you have a reservoir of literally 30 different things you can make money off of, Spirit is telling me. For some of you, you are so multifaceted. I mean, money just shouldn't be a problem for you is what I'm hearing. Your ancestors and Spirit is like telling me that you got rich bitch energy. I heard rich bitch shit i hit chase and break the what she say rich bitch shit i hit chase and break the bank though cardi on my wrist hey she says ap coming next i make sure that bitch is two tone <laughs> that's a song called rich bitch if y'all want that song just email me and i'll send you the link it's such a good song i listen to it when i'm like heading to the bank <laughs> gonna make a deposit so you're in this energy we are finally realizing, you're looking through this sea glass, right? Realizing that there is a beauty and a multifaceted nature to your soul. Your soul is ringing in what it truly needs and desires in order for you to really embody this emperor, empress energy, truly stepping into one of the highest positions of power in the spiritual realm and the physical realm possible. For some of you Capricorns, you might quite literally already be a multimillionaire watching me for sure i'm gonna break out some tarot i'm not guided to read from that sea glass and the book because i feel like with this sea glass here it definitely picks up on the energy of pisces cancer scorpio again and this time this is the element of you truly realizing you have so much color and dynamic to your aura and to your body to your mind and in your heart spirit may you please clarify this Archangel Michael, please guide us to the truth here. We want accurate, synchronistic messages here. Nine of Pentacles, Capricorn energy here, as well as Taurus and Virgo. Beautiful. One more spirit. Only one, please. Thank you. All righty, Capricorn. Bottom of the deck here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy once again with the two of pentacles. You're making a decision. Like I said, look at that Aquarius reading. There's something there for you too. Similar messages. This two of pentacles energy is giving me a balancing from the root chakra all the way up to the crown chakra. As you notice at the bottom of the deck here, from this two of pentacles she has a red bag here insinuating the root chakra right and then when that kundalini rises here moves through this this crown chakra energy right this this is literally giving me crown chakra 
and there is something tethered to your mind at this time, you can't, I heard you can't get it off your mind. So there is something about your chakra systems elevating and I'm seeing your chakra system spiral faster. Basically chakra means energy wheel or wheel. So it's a spiral here of energy working in your favor. We have nine of pentacles showing up as well as nine of cups. The number 99 in numerology signifies a person very powerful, very humanitarian based, and very much so manifesting themselves in this realm to accomplish exactly what the fuck they say they're going to. Together this equals 18. 18 breaks down to a nine again. This energy is very significant for you at this time. You are going to be financially and spiritually independent. I heard need nothing. <sighs> receive everything. You need nothing, so you receive everything. With this nine of pentacles, I'm picking up on someone who's uh, pretty witchy. You could be super into your own divine practices here and you're definitely able to channel and manifest money. You could be a cook. I'm picking up on someone who could be a professional chef or professional cook here. With this nine of cups energy, this treasure chest here, this is giving me the, this is your soul. This is the ancestors literally living in your DNA. They're gold. Your ancestors are literally gold is what I'm hearing. Yeah, they're gold. I just heard Egypt too. So something about your ancestors being near or around Egypt, or you could be very closely connected to that place. I pick up on Egypt all the time because my ancestors are literally from Africa. <laughs> and my DNA, literally, all the tests that I've taken, it is West Africa. Uh, what is it? Uh, Western Bantu peoples, I believe, or the Bantu peoples. Um, and I'm indigenous, of course, so I'm indigenous to this land in America slash Mexico. So... I'm saying this for a reason. You have probably found my page because we're soul family and the tribes are coming together. 1707. You have brought yourself to this point, Capricorn. 99. Wow. Biggest energy you could possibly receive in your reading is the energy of 99. Completion. I heard it's happening. The time is now. Your time is now. No stopping you. Let them try. We'll never let them. I'm here for you. I love you. Forgive yourself. This is what all I heard right now from your ancestors, clairvoyantly or clairsentient, whatever the freak. <laughs> so many gifts out here, y'all. So many gifts out here. One of the Claire's. <laughs> I love this energy I'm picking up on, picking up on Capricorns who are like, we're chilling. We're just relaxing in this energy, kind of taking in what spirit has. You're so unjudgmental. You're so inviting. You literally love to see people just be themselves, Capricorn. Thank you for this energy. I appreciate it. Definitely don't feel this energy with every single zodiac sign I read for. So thank you. Thank you for inviting me into your life as well. And thank you for taking this message from spirit. I'm only the messenger, so it has fucking nothing to do with me as much as it has to do all about God, spirit's message here. So... I'm only delivering God's message. We have six of pentacles, Capricorn energy once again, period. Also Virgo and Taurus too. So you could have Virgo and Taurus very prominent in your moon sign. And I'm guided to say specifically your moon sign. But the six of pentacles is a call to action. It represents the sixth house. This is Virgo energy. Virgo rules that energy of sixth house work. I'm also a sixth house stellium here. It's not about me, but I speak from experience. And let me tell you, you may have felt, Capricorn, that for the last six years, you had to work your ass off just to get a little bit back, just to get a little bit back. I heard 10%. You may have put 5,000% into every project in the last six years. And now, Spirit said, you thought I forgot? You thought I forgot how much of a hard worker you are? You thought I forgot how great of a speaker you are? You're a motivational speaker, Spirit says. You, Capricorn, are a motivational speaker. Even if you're not stepping on stages, the world is your fucking stage. And when you go and you speak to your family, when you go and speak to your friends, when you go and speak to the woman down the street, you bless them. And that's why this reciprocation is coming back for all the years that people chose not to bless you. People chose to disregard you. People chose to not give you the limelight, although you deserve to work for it and master those skills. I'm getting picking up on people who are just now seeing the world truly fix their energy and eyes on your golden heart and your golden mind. 
you will be in a position to give back. You will be of service to humanity and you will be in a position to give back financially to your family. Period. I don't play no games. Unless it's a board game. <laughs> we got nine of cups, six of pentacles showing reciprocation for the hard work that you've already put into your life. I heard re sit back, relax, and watch the abundance flow in. Be in a receptive state. King of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries could be energy significant to you or prominent in your chart. However, they don't have to be. This is Leo energy that I'm picking up on at this time. You are being crowned. I heard you are crowned, Capricorn. Please go check out that Aquarius reading if you have a specific energy with Aquarius that you resonate with and want to check out the reading for, please go check it out. There's going to be so much for you there too. Promise. We got King of Wands. Your reputation looks beautiful at this time. You are on fire. Nobody is looking at you in a light that you're not powerful. So it doesn't matter if these fucking naysayers or haters or whatever title we want to give them because I don't judge these people. It's just their actions are showing negativity here and here and I can feel it in my heart. This is like that energy, right? Like you could have other kings, other queens looking at you like, wow, look at them building their empire. Look at them building. But see, here's what spirit is telling me. People who have hated on you, hated your journey, hated the fact that you were, I'm talking about hate. You really dealt with a lot of unnecessary hate, Capricorn. That's why you're so strong. These people were so fixated on your life evolving that they didn't realize it's why they'll never have it because they're so fixated on outside of themselves. This is just for a few Capricorns. Please take what resonates. I don't read the drama, but when it comes out, it's only because there's a light activation message within it, period. We transmute all negativity into light on this page. I am literally guided and governed by Archangels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Chamuel, Archangel Ezekiel are here now. I heard Trinity 333. Three, three. You are being world renowned for some of you. You are going to be waking up and seeing that some of your tarot videos, oracle videos, if you just speak online spiritually, intuitively, you're going to start seeing more likes, more comments, more subscriptions. You're going to start seeing more people truly value more than just your looks. Mm -hmm. Can we clarify this with four more spirit? Capricorn, you came out on your reading. The devil, this is Capricorn energy. This is Capricorn sun, moon, and rising here. You are leaving this karmic state of being. You are setting yourself free. And this is what I'm getting is, wow, a memory of the past. And remember, the past doesn't exist anymore and the future, ha the future hasn't happened yet. So you are completely moving in the now. Whew. Something about your chest. I'm getting something about your chest here. This could be either a health issue that has resolved or something about your chest here. Maybe physically you've been getting compliments for some of you divine masculines or even uh, masculine, you know, other genders in general, like women who are going to the gym or feminines going to the gym here or a masculine who's at the gym. All I'm picking up on is somebody really likes your chest. <laughs> and it's not in the way that you think. This is someone likes the way that you, oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, thank you, spirit, because I know how that came out, Capri, Capricorn. Your chest here, when you walk, you have your chest outward. You have your neck elongated, and your chin is held high. Spirit says when you walk this way, you don't realize that your power is being implemented into the entire world because you walk like you know spirit, you walk like you are guided, you walk like there is nothing going to form against you, against you that will prosper. You know this, this page of cups here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, yeah, my light just turned off. You know this. I heard when one light dims, it is so another may shed upon your soul, your mind here. 
in order for you to truly receive the download, in order for you to truly receive the love. It is important for you to find it in the dark as well. Wow. That's what Page of Cups is giving me. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, Spirit is asking for you to get your head out of the clouds at this time because you've been in your uh, fantasy world. And it's beautiful because you've built up a beautiful world inside of yourself. But now, Spirit says, ground that beautiful, peaceful energy into this realm. I feel like the light dimmed because Spirit really wants these last two cards to be very much so focused upon. Let's see what Spirit has for you. I'm going to do this up here so you can literally see the card fall out. So we got two cards I'm going to pull. With this Page of Cups here, I'm also seeing people are going to match your vibration when it comes to your love language. I heard, talk to me in your love language. Tell me, yeah, how to relate to you. Come on. Period. I think that's a scissor song. Shit. One more spirit. Thank you so much, spirit, for the messages for Capricorn today, as well as myself. This reading kind of resonated with me too, Capricorn. So that's awesome. Top of the deck energy here is what I'm going to read. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Like I said, this is our insinuation of definitely going to that Aquarius reading. You're in a state of being here where you're being asked to, like I said, leave this pondering state of being inside your own world, inside the self. And you're being asked, actually, Capricorn, to step out into the world. I said this to Aquarius. You're a big walking crystal. Pick your favorite crystal. And the reason you resonate with it is because that's the energy you probably give off day in and day out. Spirit wants you to step out of this contemplation mode. Use your sword of truth. Unlock your emotions here. You see the emotions are locked up. Unlock them. And go speak to the people you know you can help because you are that powerful. I heard just your presence is a present, is a gift. It's about time you know that. Ace of Swords is our last card. This is the truth. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy once again. You have been downloaded with more than, I heard Nikola Tesla? Wow. So you're receiving downloads like Nikola Tesla was receiving. You're an inventor. You're a genius. Capricorn, look at this energy. You could be seeing crows here. Maybe you felt like a crow that you saw this week or last week was giving you a bad omen. Spirit is telling me no. The crow recognizes your power and the crow that you saw or made eye contact with you, if this resonates with you, if you've been seeing any type of bird, let's say any bird of the air element here, an eagle, a hawk, a crow, a blue jay. We saw a blue jay pop up here too in your oracle. Look, You've been seeing any birds that look this color, blue and yellow here. You are definitely coming into alignment with the spiritual world and God here. I heard two, two, two again here in my head. Lots of two, two, twos in my third eye. So you are definitely one with God at this time. And your angels are very proud of you. You've come such a long way. This is clarifying the nine of cups, by the way, Capricorn. You're coming into recognition that you deserve this abundance. This is an entire abundant card here. You're setting yourself free. Look at this aura glowing here. You're attracting everything. You're attracting everything at this time. Because you know not to chase. You know you never had to. You know you never had to. The Ace of Wands. Ace of Swords. Whoa. But, but yes, Ace of Wands energy. We love that. The Ace of Swords will power up that Ace of Wands energy for sure. Picking up a lot with the Ace of Swords here. You are very connected to your ancestors. Whoever I'm speaking to, you see how we have this spiral energy like I was speaking of? Your vibration is moving so quick that you're unlocking your gifts every day. You're receiving information that is truly helping you. That is, I'm talking about this information is so divine. People are looking at your life at this time, Capricorn. Like, how are they doing it? How is that fucking possible? It's possible because God's on my side. <laughs> That's what you got to tell them. We have 66 showing up in your reading. This is the energy of the lovers, of reflection, of making decisions out of passion, but making sure they're not impulsive. So this is the Six of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, right? So the Six of Cups came out clarifying the Six of Pentacles. 
66 does break down to 12, 12 breaks down to three. So I did some research on the number 12, ironically, like a couple of days ago, and it really speaks of having the positive endeavor to create a certain reality for yourself, really using your expression, your creativity, steering head forward with that and not being afraid. Number three, that 12 breaks down to and 66 ends up having that energy of here. It speaks of expression and using the mind and the heart in unison in order to create a reality, but knowing you're truly protected to go about it, not doing it fearfully or anxiously, but moving in confidence. So you came a long way from a kid to all the way you're grown now, or you're definitely not a kid if you're on this page, I make sure of it, but if you're young, let's just say you're like 18, maybe, maybe 17, shouldn't be if you're here, sorry. But if you are, oh well. So that's why I try and be a little, a little you know, respectful because I never know who's on here. I'm picking up honestly on like two 17 year olds. <laughs> so if you're here, make sure your mama knows you're watching this kind of stuff, okay? Because if you're not an adult, I want to make sure your parents are okay with you watching this stuff, period. Because God listen to your parents. If you're a literal minor watching me, let me put this down. Spirit is guiding me to talk to you. Pay attention in your classes and pay attention to your parents, especially if you know for a fact they love you. That's a message for someone out there. And I love you too. That's why I wanted to tell you. I'm your big sis. So we have six of cups. You are coming into alignment with past, present, and future at this time. And that's what's manifesting this for you. That's your reading for you today, Capricorn. I know it was a little freestyled and it's different than what I usually do. But that's because spirit is constantly guiding us all every day to move differently. I love you so much. And if this resonates, like and comment. I mean, honestly, these likes and comments are the reasons other people are going to see this reading and be blessed too. So it's not about me. When you're liking, commenting, and supporting my videos, you are supporting spirit. I love you so much. If you want a personal, hit me down below. I return those very quickly to people. Much love. Bye.